Temples across Taiwan have also announced cuts to their normally scheduled Lunar New Year events. Classed as one of the eight major establishments under COVID's winter regulations, temples are considered a potential hotspot for virus transmission. The beloved tradition of eating soup of peace over the New Year is main casualty, with some of the largest temples in Taiwan announcing the dinners cancelled. But all is not lost as temple committees find other ways to offer locals peace on a plate. Members of the temple community gather round the pot, taking turns to grab a ladle of New Year peace soup. Meanwhile, others sitting nearby are already gulping theirs down. In 2021, many will miss this bustling scene of traditional Taiwanese life. Temples fall into the eight categories of large venues designated by the government. So in order to comply with pandemic management rules, we are canceling the pea soup meal this year. Yuzun Temple in Yilan was founded in 1987. Since then, it's offered locals pea soup over the nine days of Lunar New Year through 34 consecutive years, frequently attracting over a million visitors. But in a pandemic, it's safety first, and the event is suspended. They're also asking visitors to the temple to be rigorous with hygiene protocols. As we are a designated venue, firstly, if you come in to pray, we ask you to please wear a mask. We will have ethanol hand wash at both sides as well as temperature checks. Yuzun is not the only temple affected. Fuda Temple has changed its pea soup plans to peace pancakes. They'll also give out red envelopes and eggs as normal. When people eat pea soup, they have to take off their masks and touch utensils like bowls and chopsticks. We are concerned people could catch the virus. So this year we've suspended the pea soup. But we want to give some kind of edible peace to those who come and light incense for the earth god. So we've created a peace pancake. Across Taiwan, temple plans will shift to accommodate COVID rules, with many favorite traditions on hold this year. It's a sad dimming of festivities, but in these exceptional times, such measures will help Taiwan stay safe and sound.